Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. This is Irene with my friend Jay James that owns a Honda dealership in Conyers and he is a proud sponsor, thank you, for this cooking segment and he is a cook. <laughs> I'm almost scared to turn it over to him. He has the main entree and today we're going to talk about not your usual Thanksgiving dinner. So, Jay, take it away. Okay, what we're gonna do this year is a little, a little different, little older fashioned recipe. It's called chip beef chicken. And it's real easy to fix, pretty inexpensive to do. Uh, it's a great colder uh, day meal. Okay. Okay, so it's real easy to do. Boneless chicken breast, bacon, chip beef, and you can either use light sour cream or regular sour cream and cream of mushroom soup. A little cracked pepper, and that's all you need, Irene. Get out. Yeah. Now tell me how you learned how to cook. Well, just... mom, yeah, I was raised on a farm, and my mom uh, uh, had to do everything for my dad cooking-wise. He couldn't boil an egg, so she said, you're not going to be no burden to any woman. I'm going to teach you how to cook. <laughs> so that's where I got my basics at, and then when I graduated from high school, I went into the Air Force, and I was a fireman, and that's where I learned my specialties. All right. Okay? Okay. So we've sprayed the pan with pan. Okay. And now we're going to put the first layer of chipped beef in. All so right. you just layer the whole bottom All with right. the chipped beef. And I never saw a jar this big. Yeah. They've got they got the little ones and the big ones. Always get the big ones. All right. You always get the big ones. Always okay. get the big one. Just layer it. Oh, wow. And then take your chicken. Uh huh. I've already wrapped it with bacon. Gotcha. Place it in the pan. Uh huh. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Take a little cracked black pepper. Uh huh. And coat the top of it really good. <laughs> Your sour cream. Uh huh. Put it in a mixing bowl. Got it. And this is the light one. This is the light, and you can mix them if you want. It's no, but you can use the regular. Okay. Uh, or you could use the light, but I use, I, sometimes I do the regular, whatever I pick up off yeah. the shelf is what I do. Well, you're a man. That's right. Whatever's first. Whatever's yeah. first, whatever's <laughs> easy, whatever's in front of our eyes. <laughs> I love it. And then you take your two cans of cream of mushroom soup. Yes. Put that in. Perfect. Okay. Easy. Huh? How, how can you ever live in the South without cream of mushrooms? Exactly. <laughs> I love it so And then much. on top of the chicken, you know, another layer of oh, chip beef. Okay. And I think what the chip beef and the bacon does with this, keeps some moisture in the chicken. I'm going to promise you, if you do this, that you will not have to put a knife on the table. <gasps> It'll just pull apart. It, it's not even that you cut it and it doesn't string. It's, it's chunked. It's tender. It's the most amazing chicken I've ever had. Okay. Now you need to preheat your oven to 300 degrees, and okay. this takes right at about three and a half hours to cook. Goodness. Low and slow. You know my motto. Well, You're you cook can... it on low and slow. Okay. Well, you, well, you can watch the football parade game, on TV. Parade, football game. Put it in there in the morning and uh, be ready by lunch. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, good plan, folks. Okay. <laughs> You just rake it out over top of it. Rake it out over the top. Okay, okay. You just spread it out over everything. Okay. Make sure it gets evenly all the way across. And it's gonna make its own gravy. It makes its own gravy, and it is the best taste. And then we've got the wild rice going. Got the wild rice. Half and half wild rice with uh, mushrooms. Right. That's gonna be served with this. And then See? all you have to do is cover this now. Uh, yeah. And I use a meat thermometer for poultry, but yeah. you know how I get wigged out about undercooked meat. So, well, yeah. but yeah. about three to three and a half hours at 300 degrees, keep it covered, <sighs> pull it out, uncover it, and then put it back in there for about another 10 minutes after that, and then okay. you're good to go. You're good to go, and okay. that's it. Chip beef chicken. Ta da! That fast. I love it. <laughs> Conestoga Builders. We build custom garages. Our garages come complete with concrete slabs. Conestoga Builders. We build storage buildings, gazebos, garages, and more. For a complete line of our products, visit our website or call today. Conestoga Builders. 
Whether you're in the market to buy or sell or need a short-term loan, Alcovi Jewelry & Pawn can help. We specialize in the buying and selling of gold, jewelry, tools, lawn equipment, guitars, air conditioner window units, movies, TVs, and more. Our friendly staff is knowledgeable in our products, which are tested upon purchase and are proudly displayed in a well-lit, organized environment. We buy and sell gold. Our in-house jeweler tests, repairs, cleans, and sizes jewelry. He also creates custom design jewelry. Watch battery replacement is available. Al Covey Jewelry and Pawn is located on the corner of Washington Street and Turner Lake Road. And you know what folks is a good thing you could if you really wanted to do this the night before and heat it up the next day. Exactly. Yeah everything we're gonna do you can do before Thanksgiving. We have a lot going on, and you are very, very good about helping out Newton County, Covington. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, with the Chamber and uh, Arts Association. Yes. And your dealership is not in the city limits, so to speak. Right. So how does this work to come back? Well, when you buy a car in, uh, say, Rockdale County, uh -huh. uh, we send that taxes that you pay on your car to Newton County because you oh. pick up your license and uh, here at the courthouse. So okay. all that money does come back to Newton County. And I'm a family-owned dealership. It's not a corporate-owned dealership like most of the dealers around the uh, Atlanta area. So I can do what I want to with my profits. And I take a, a percentage of all my profits and I put back into the communities where we live at. Because, you know, these are tough economic times. The city needs a little help. The county needs a little bit of help. And people need help. Sure. And, you know, we help the veterans. We help the Arts Association. We help uh, you. We love your show. and. Uh, we help the chamber, so anything yeah. that we can do to generate more business and more jobs right now is what this county needs. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to do. Well, you're doing a good job. Thank you. And thank you and welcome to the community. I love it here. It's my oh. home. Coming to is my home. Oh. Bought a house here. Love it here. I love it. Love it. Hey folks, Jay James at the all new Honda of Conyers and it's the 11 model year closeout. We've got great deals on 11 Hondas. So come on in and take yours home today. Honda of Conyers, I-20, exit 82, go south one mile. All right, now we're going to do Pilgrim Pie. It's my rendition of a pecan pie because it's not too, too sweet, but it's good. We've got a stick of butter or margarine that's melted. We're going to put in a cup of sugar. Stir it in, and then we're going to grate some nutmeg. It calls for a fourth of a teaspoon. And then a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, that's about a fourth. How's that? Then we're going to put in a cup of pecans and a cup of raisins a tablespoon of vinegar, and then we're gonna put two eggs. And that's it. And you just stir it, stir it, stir it, and you put it in a 325 degree preheated oven for about 45 minutes. So we're gonna ladle this in here and hope we don't make too big a mess. My friend, Louise Strickland and Ann uh, Armwad, gave me some cookbooks and they are from the Shrine Club and Tallulah Falls and they are wonderful cookbooks and if you want to get copies of them you need to get in touch with them. If you don't know how to get in touch with them you can call me and uh, I'll make sure you get in touch with them. And then oh and let me tell you this we had some calls by questions. I thought it was wonderful that y'all did do that. Judy and Lee called. Judy wanted to know about how many minutes does the egg stay in the boiling water? Well, that was a good question because I didn't say it. After you boil them and cover them, take it off the eye, they need to sit about 20 minutes. So it's not like immediately they're done. <laughs> they're not done. So that was a good question. Thank you for asking that. And please do call, folks, and um, 
ask more questions. And I'm sure you're going to have a bunch today like, my golly, lady, you sure are messy. <laughs>
sweet potatoes, and a can of apple pie filling, and you're just gonna dump this all over it. And this was a kicker. It's a uh, bite-sized prunes. And then we just go sprinkle those around. A tablespoon of packed brown sugar. It has to be packed because if it's not, it, you don't get as much. Oh, cinnamon's always good in anything fruity. And we have a little orange marmalade, about a fourth of a cup that's been melted. And we're just going to dot that all over the top of it. And we're going to put it in the oven. Because see, it's all cooked, really. All you got to do is heat it up. So what I recommend, it did not say in the recipe, it did not say cover it, but I would cover it. And it's about 30, 45 minutes. And that's it. Conestoga Builders. We build custom garages. Our garages come complete with concrete slabs. Conestoga Builders. We build storage buildings, gazebos, garages, and more. For a complete line of our products, visit our website or call today. Conestoga Builders. Moving out but not moving in yet? Spring cleaning filled up your garage? Need a place to park your boat? Store it at Store It of Covington. Convenient location, secure and well lit. Clean storage rooms 5x5 five five to 24 by 32 some with lofts, some with power. Climate controlled rooms from 10x10 10 10 to 10x30. 10 Outdoor storage for boats or cars or trailers. Penske truck rental too. Everything you need for moving and storage is at Store It of Covington. Make your neighbors green with envy. At Forever Grow Turf and Ornamental Care, we service residential and commercial customers in the metro Atlanta and surrounding areas. We're your family-owned and operated full-service fertilization and weed control specialists. We also offer other services such as insecticides, fungicides, core aeration, and much more. We use only the most current, safest, advanced, and name-brand products on the market. So get the personal touch that you and your lawn deserve. Call the experts at Forever Grow Turf and Ornamental Care today. Day. Okay, now we're going to make broccoli slaw for our Thanksgiving dinner. I know I told you it's not the usual, and we've got two bags this size of broccoli slaw that you can get in the um, produce section. It's got broccoli and carrots and a little um, red cabbage, okay? Then we're going to add some oil, just enough to make it moist. A half a cup of sugar. We're going to stir it, stir it, stir it. And then we're going to have a half of cup of vinegar, white vinegar. Mm-hmm. And they do recommend that you do this, the recipe, and I agree that you should do it the day before, or at least the, let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. Okay, then you've got these two packages, the old standby Raymond noodles, and they say, you know, crush them in the bag, which is a good thing. So we're gonna add that. And another reason you really need to do this ahead of time is so the noodles will get soft. And this is the other kicker. We're going to add slivered almonds and sunflower seeds. Hmm. Oh, look over here. But I will say that these are reduced sodium, so you're not getting a whole lot of uh, salt in here. And then the next day, if you think it still seems a little bit dry, just add a little bit more 
uh, oil to it and a little more vinegar and you're gonna love it. And it's such a great addition to your Thanksgiving dinner that is not your usual green beans or casseroles or whatever. So you're gonna wrap this up real tight, cover it with tin foil, put it in the refrigerator, and let everybody ooh and ah. So come on back. What we're gonna do with these is we're gonna spread this around. I forgot that. Oh God, we can't forget this. This is the actual seasoning. The little packet that was the chicken flavor in the noodles. We ought to have that. Golly, I'm so glad I thought of it. So there you go, folks. And isn't that pretty? And that will serve a lot. And this is another thing that would be really good to take to church suppers or covered dish what reunions because it doesn't have mayonnaise in it. And you can do it the day before. So I'm gonna get the pies out of the oven. We're gonna set it all up and you're gonna get to look at it and have a good old eye candy. Whether you're in the market to buy or sell or need a short-term loan, Alcovi Jewelry & Pawn can help. We specialize in the buying and selling of gold, jewelry, tools, lawn equipment, guitars, air conditioner window units, movies, TVs, and more. Our friendly staff is knowledgeable in our products, which are tested upon purchase and are proudly displayed in a well-lit, organized environment. We buy and sell gold. Our in-house jeweler tests, repairs, cleans, and sizes jewelry. Jewelry. He also creates custom design jewelry. Watch battery replacement is available. Al Covey Jewelry and Pawn is located on the corner of Washington Street and Turner Lake Road. Want to preserve those precious old videos, Super 8 and 8mm home movies onto a DVD? Don't send them to some out-of-state transfer company that could lose or damage your film. Entrust them to Current Events Productions. We provide the highest quality transfer. Each individual frame of the film is hand-cleaned, lubricated, digitally captured, and remastered. We'll even help you organize your reel. Schedule an appointment to preview your film for free. Current Events Productions in downtown Covington on the corner of Floyd and Elm. Do you have trouble getting your pets to the vet? Are you homebound and need in-home veterinary care? Paws and Claws Mobile Vet Services brings all of the resources of a traditional clinic in a convenient mobile setting. We offer sick or wellness exams, spays and neuters, annual vaccines, diagnostic lab work, and when the time comes, compassionate in-home euthanasia. Paws and Claws serves Newton, Rockdale, and Henry Counties. Call Dr. Carithers to schedule your appointment today. Thanks so much for another fun day in the kitchen of Irene and Maggie. See you next month, and we'll talk about Christmas. Bye-bye.